what is the hardest thing in sports to do? Hmm? What do you think the hardest thing in sports to do is? I'm going to give you my answer. The hardest thing in sports to do is to maintain something. It's to maintain yeah, the greatness. Let's say greatness. It's to maintain greatness. Because in sports, there's so many things that can derail greatness. And once de once greatness is derailed, it's extremely hard to get back. Think about it. Let me give you an example. I'll give you two examples. Let me give you the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Steelers is one of the greatest teams we've ever seen. They had such a run. Steel curtain. They had they were one of the best franchises in football history and while yes they've maintained being a good team because of Mike Tomlin and and they had Big Ben and they had Troy Palomalu and they had Ryan Clark and they had you know Antonio Brown but that greatness was not there anymore I'll give you an even better team the Washington franchise. Washington, there was a point in time. I wasn't alive, but there was a point in time where Washington was the was the marquee franchise in the NFL. I think in a span of like four or five years or maybe six years, they won three Super Bowls. Washington with Art Monk and and Theismann, they they were the cornerstone of football. Washington. If you look today, Washington ain't won a playoff game since I don't remember. They haven't been to the second round. They haven't been to the conference finals or the conference championship since nineteen seventy nine. I looked this up yesterday. No, I'm sorry. That's Washington uh, Wizards. Um, but Washington, the football team, they haven't really been viable in a while. Probably since like 93. So probably the hardest thing to do is maintain greatness. Another hard thing to do, and, and maybe even harder, is to repeat is to go back to back. There's a reason why it's even how great Patrick Mahomes is. There's a reason why they haven't win back to back. I think the last back to back champion was the Patriots. Uh, in basketball, the last back to back champion was the Golden State Warriors. And that's the one that had KD, Kyrie. I mean, KD, Steph, Clay, you know. I don't remember the last back-to-back -back champion in baseball. Maybe the Yankees. I don't know. What I'm saying is it's hard to maintain greatness, and it's hard, damn near impossible, not impossible, damn near impossible to repeat. What am I going on about? Another hard thing to do is have dynasties in college. We talk about the the Golden State Warriors dynasty. We talk about the Steelers dynasty. We talk about the Cowboys dynasty. We talk about the Spurs dynasty. When we talk about college dynasties, there's really only two, three. We talk about the Huskies dynasty in college basketball, uh, women's college basketball, the Yukon Huskies. We talk in women's college basketball. We talk about the UCLA dynasty. In, in men's college basketball way, way back in the day. And we talk about Alabama football dynasty. Those are really it. 
Well, what we're seeing out of the Oklahoma Sooners softball team is a dynasty. And they have a shot, I think today, to break an NCAA record with 52 straight wins. Right, Actually, right now they have a D1 record with 51 straight wins. But they also are going for a three-peat, which we have not seen in the NBA since, what, the um, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal Lakers. We haven't seen a three-peat since the Patriots in football. The Oklahoma Sooners softball is a they they go up against Florida State in the uh, women's college softball World Series, and yes, they went into extra innings against Stanford last game, but outside of that, they've been pretty dominant. Obviously, they just they've won fifty one straight games. And while I don't think it's on the level right now, of course, UCLA basketball men's back in the day. But you are we are looking at one of the greatest sports dynasties if they do win the three peat. You're looking at one of the greatest sports dynasties, especially college that we've ever seen. And let me let me explain why. And why college sports is one of the hardest why it's the Yukon Huskies women's basketball program is such an anomaly or hell we've even seen it with the the we're seeing it right now with the um South Carolina Gamecocks how great they were and they didn't even make it to the they didn't even win two back to back and they've had some great teams some great players one of the biggest reasons why it's so hard to win in college back college anything is because of the transfer portal is because you have such a small window with players you honestly have at the most four years and there's so much that have to go right you have to get the right coach you have to get the right players your scouting team has to be a one your recruiting has to be a one if any one of those is 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 not up to par, you have no shot. And even if all of those are up to par, that still doesn't ultimately mean you have a dynasty on your hands. For example, one of the top recruiting teams in, foot, in college football every single year is Ohio State and Oregon. Let's let's focus on Oregon for a second. Oregon usually lands in the top five when we talk about recruiting. Do you know how many national championships Oregon has in their entire franchise, entire school lineage in, in, in football? I think zero. It is hard in college to maintain greatness for a long time. Because think about it, the the Oklahoma Sooners softball team, right? They're about to win fifty one, or they if they win this year's national championship, not only will it be their third their third straight, but they will win fifty two straight wins. And think about this: the 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 young ladies that were there for win one and two are not there for win 51 and possibly 52. I don't think not a one. Maybe one. There has to be so much to go right. To have a dynasty. To to maintain greatness. And what we're seeing is Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Sooners do everything right. Their recruiting is A1. Most of the top softball players in the United States are going 
to Oklahoma or in Oklahoma right now and are going to Oklahoma in the next few years. So this dominance can continue. And don't get me wrong. Yes, the conversation will change a little bit if Florida State does ultimately win, which they could win. And I'm not here just saying they won't because, you you know, you never know. Hell, I thought the South Carolina Gamecocks had the national championship this year in the bag. Obviously, I I was wrong thanks to Caitlin Clark and the Iowa High, Hawkeyes. But if, if the Oklahoma Sooners do win the national championship, which would be their third straight and their 52nd straight win, they will be one of, they will solidify themselves as one of the greatest college let me not disrespect them. One of the greatest dynasties in sports history. Oh, man, you stayed to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy. You can also go back and watch past episodes, past clips, and don't forget that the Unpopular Podcast new episodes drop every Wednesday and Saturday. Appreciate you.